first met Sean without you know getting too heavy winded about these things. I met Sean, I think it was over a year ago in Dublin. I was talking at an event there and uh, he just he bumped into me in the lobby and we started chatting away. And uh, you know I, I just I liked it right off the bat. He had a pair of loom pants and uh, it was in a posh hotel in Dublin and it was like it was just well that's my kind of guy. And then I, you know, I didn't really see him after that. For a while later, I was doing an event in Waterford, and he showed up. And uh, we got we got drunk at the end of the night, and he took start pulling poems out of the bag. And I remember thinking to myself, well, what, why isn't why isn't this guy more known? You know, what, why isn't this guy, you know, more well well known? And then we got we kind of came mates after that. I've been on his radio show a few times, and we discovered we had an awful lot in common. Frighteningly, but an awful lot in common. He's like a punk rock poet, I'm like a punk rock psychologist, and that's like a term I use, and I'm very proud of it, because I'm not, I was never officially trained in psychology, but I did it in the punk rock style. I literally started off with like, you know, three archetypes and the truth kind of thing, and I worked from there. But it was like, uh, it's, it's, that's the way I feel the only thing that really matters in this life is stuff that's self-realized and self-learned, whether it's poetry, art. You know, understanding of you know human behaviors, yeah, yeah. everything. That's the way to do it, and that's because we live in a system that's actually designed through things like an overemphasis on accreditation that we have to actually have a degree to be a poet. Mm -hmm. We have to have it. You know, the, you know who went. You know, what grade is it? Bollocks is right. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to. All you have to do is have that navigation in your heart that actually guides you towards what you, Joseph Campbell referred to as your bliss, and Sean follows his bliss. And that's what I really, really like about the man. And when he asked me to do the introduction for his book, it came like that because I knew exactly what was how his mind thinks because we come from a similar generation. I can remember growing up in the Valley One Flats in Dublin. I, I, I had no interest in anything, really, until I heard, I think it was New Rose by The Damned. And it was like, that was a whole, and I even remember the first song I ever wrote. I was about 14, and I found that you wrote a song when you were about the same age too. And the song was called Parasite, it was, it was a direct plagiarization of the, da of the damned. Mm -hmm. But it was funny, I went on then to write books about what I'm known for, about psychopathology and psychopaths are the ultimate parasites. So when people say things come around in life in circles, what they really do is they come around in almost like a spiral. Mm -hmm. You might meet certain people in your life, and then 20, 30 years later you'll have that same experience again when you meet that person. And that's what happened to me when I met Sean. It all became self-realized back again to that point that me and him were meant to meet at that point, at the point where he was getting his first book out, and he asked me to do the foreword. And I was very, very honoured to do that. And it came to me like that. You remember when you asked me, it was like, he says, can you write me forward? It was done. Because it's like the best things in life, they happen like that. You fall in love with the right person in an instant. You create the perfect painting very quickly. You write the perfect song in an instant. And, you, and John's, Sean's poems are just like that. He pulls them out of the bag. When he, the bag is not only the bag that he carries around with poems in it, but it's also a metaphor for what he is inside. His subconscious. He reaches in there, and that's where the real bag is. This is the physical bag that he carries on. But the real bag is that what lies behind that inside his psyche. And that's where Sean's real bag is. And when he pulls it out of the bag, he's pulling out the life experience of one person who like, grew up in England, ended up in Ireland. And I think it's like one of the best poets in Ireland, absolutely, without yeah. doubt. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and I especially love the singer. Yeah, yeah come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I especially love the way his poetry is right for Ireland now. Yeah. It's not caught in this romantic sort of like Celtic mist, blah blah blah. It's what our lives are today. It's not just so. Dying, it's, it's very similar. Words, yeah. yeah, it's very similar to hip hop in that way. It's in that kind of, and it's, it's time has arrived. Yeah. And that's what makes it so powerful. And that's why I think you know Sean's work will actually resonate. Long, you know, after he's gone, yeah. it will be remembered because, for the simple reason, it's written like a song. It punches and syncopates like a song, and it's instant like a song. And if that isn't the spirit of punk rock, I don't know what isn't. Because, it is. yeah, you yeah. channel it from internally, pulls out, and then yeah. the bag, as I said, is the subconscious and it's pulled into the material world. And you don't have to be a literary snob or 
god or you know have a PhD in like English you know medieval English languages to write poetry. You can be just a regular fella, just like yeah. then you can be a poet. That's and that's the essence of what it is. So you know. The book out of the bag is great. I read it again last night. I read the poems again last night because I really wanted to feel about this. And then when I, I came here, I said I'll just wing it and just do the speech as it is. And so that's it. That's I'm delighted to be here. Delight that so many people. Wow, what a turnout! Phenomenal, yeah, great. phenomenal turnout in this beautiful bookshop. And uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you for Sean and his family putting this wonderful event together. I uh, hope we all, everybody makes new friends here tonight. I know I've already made a few. And uh, without any further ado, let me introduce the bard himself, Sean yeah. McGuire.